Friends, welcome to Time for Shine Homestead. I'm very tired today, guys. Uh, we came back from a long journey from uh, the largest freshwater lake in the world with an, with an island, Lake Bernard. We walked eight kilometers home last night when I should have just stayed and got a ride home this morning. But, but anyways, these are the last plants that are gonna go in the garden. These are uh, the round cherries, John's sunflowers, they're finally up, and the rest of cosmic peppers will go in the garden later today. But anyways, guys, I think it's looking pretty good there. Anyways, guys, so we're going to show you what we caught tonight. And we got my first pan fish from Lake Bernard. Some nice sized rock bass. And uh, she's going to show you the cat catfish I got last night. Come over here, please, dear. These are not going to be entered in the rodeo. Go across so everybody can see everything. These are not going to be entered in the rodeo, my friends. But there will be, we will, we will be showing this, the two short clip films of me catching fish last night when my son gets home from school. But anyways, guys, this is just going to be a, this is a pretty big catfish here. This is a yellow one called brown bullhead. Pretty big ones. These are pretty nice side ones. Uh, I'm going to do a little quick uh, show you how I was taught how to, how to clean catfish, guys. So what you want to do is get your knife right behind the back of the top of the fin where the spike is. That's where they, they're like nails, guys. Cut down by, down by the head, right? Cut down and then go like this all the way down the side. Down the other side, guys, right? I'm a little sore and stiff from the long walk, guys. And you cut all the way back to the tail, guys. All the way back to the tail. And you grab your pliers, guys. See, the stingers on both sides like nails. See, look, hear that? You do not want to get those in your hand. I wouldn't think it would be feel very good, guys. I've been stung by catfish before in the past, but my hand's working right here, you grab the skin with your pliers and you just pull just pull it off see like if I was so tired this would go a little bit quicker just pull it off like that and you uh, flip it over to the other side see how nice and red that is guys very nice eating fish out of this lake spring fed lake biggest freshwater lake in the world guys without a, without an island and this fish will cooperate see there you go look there you go guys Peel, peels it right off, just like that. Now, look, is there anything left of the tail? You just pull it that, no big deal. There you go, guys, and there you go. Look at that nice slab of meat. And you come up by the head, cut straight down, like that. Flip it over, and inside here is where, where the main guts is. And you scrape it out, like that. There you go, guys. A nice red slab of meat. It's just, I swear to God, guys, it's like chicken. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Isn't that nice and red? And if you want to, you could take a fill. A lot of people just cook them whole like that, but you can take a fill it up side, off each side, guys. But we're not going to count this as a fishing rodeo. This is just a, 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 an evening to spend with my brother and my wife. But we were successful. It was really cold last night, guys, and raining. So I'm a little tired right now from the long walk home, but... I figured it was worth it. Pretty good catch here. And um, that's my quick video today, guys. If you'd like me to do another video on catfish, even on how to fillet them as well, but I will. But anyways, guys, much love. God bless you guys. I truly love you, and I'll see you in the next video, my dear friend. What do you say, Miss Sunshine? Much love. God bless, guys.